When I came here, I started from level zero. Without swimming, I don't know what I would be. I can't imagine myself at 16, leaving home by myself to go into a country that I didn't know the language, going through the mountains in a journey, things you read about and see in movies. Oh, by the way, he did that without arms. His drive every day is, as a coach, one of the best things about him. My father never believed that I could be something, but I was always wanted to prove him that I can be something and I can be part of the society, I can be part of the world and make the world a better place, which I did and I'm gonna keep doing what I love. Abbas Karimi fled Afghanistan at the age of 16 and less than 10 years later competed at the Paralympics in Tokyo, Japan. At the age of 16, I had to leave uh, my country and then I become a refugee. Then I've been in Iran and from Iran to Turkey. After navigating multiple countries as a refugee, Abbas moved to Portland, Oregon, and then eventually Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where he became a U.S. citizen. His story is the epitome of following a dream, overcoming adversity, and inspiring others along the way. I was born without arms and on the society that I was living, there was a lot of judgment and that I was gonna end up in need. And I just was looking for something to protect me, you know, like encourage me in positive things. I did a lot of different sports. I started with martial arts. I ended up with swimming and swimming was something that I could, you know, compete at a very high level, international level. And it became way of my life. And I knew that it could save my life and not everyone believed it, but I believed it. I spent the weekend training with Abbas, talking to his coaches, and getting a feel for what his day-to-day -day life looks like. We both competed in the Fort Lauderdale Masters Challenge, and it was amazing to see the camaraderie he had developed both in and out of the water. I've been uh, training with the uh, Swim for Lauderdale SFTL for almost three years and we love each other as a family in our team and every time that I join the practice we uh, race to each other. They motivate me and they race with me, I race with them, I cheer them up. There's a lot of love in our team and you know being respectful and being kind to each other. Uh, Abbas is all about swim. That's one thing that is good as a coach that he's willing to do whatever it needs to be done to get the goal for him, which is a gold medal. He wants to win Paralympics. It's been uh, a, an amazing journey. One, because of his talent, his talent for swimming. And as an elite athlete, I can tell you, I have watched videos of Michael Phelps all the time because Abbas watches them. And the dedication of an elite athlete, it's all in the mind and it's just amazing. So working with that level of an athlete is fantastic. People ask me that how you're doing things and uh, without arms, and but they don't know that there is a magic. When the God takes something from you, he will give something else from you. But you have to work on that so hard to find it, what it is that the God gave you. That I don't have arms, but I have my feet and I do almost everything with my feet because uh, I believe that Allah or God, He created me this way. You know, I was born without arms, but in the state, He gave me all my strength and all my talent in my feet. Of course, in my heart, in my soul, so I can be something. I eat with my feet, I drive with my feet, and I have my driving license. I dress up myself, I do everything with my feet. Well, I left uh, my, my home, my family like 10 years ago and that was the most difficult things to deal with and being away from my family, being away from everyone and go through all the struggles and challenges that I went through. Uh, you know, it took me 10 years to make it happen this far. That was the most uh, hardest part and it still is. Every day, every month, every year, it was so hard to be away from my family, from the people that I love. But I had to keep going until I make it, you know, to the top. What I love the most and be saving my life, you know, through swimming. My first competition was in uh, Indianapolis in the World Series. And then I qualified for the World Championship. And my world, first World Championship was in uh, Mexico 2017. And I was part of the refugee Paralympic team. And I won the silver medal in 50 meter butterfly. And I became the first refugee who won medal in the world championship in any sport. I'm getting ready for my next competition. It's a world championship in Manchester. I had a lot of coaches over the years because I keep moving one city to another. And Marty is one of my best coaches I ever had. And still living with him, he's a part of my family. He's like a family to me. Now that this facility is open, they rebuild it. It's a beautiful facility for training and getting ready for my next competition. So I love this place. I 
can't comprehend. And I've now been working with him three years, and when I think about that, I get overwhelmed. But when you spend time with him, he's just a, another elite athlete who loves swimming, is dedicated to the sport, and really makes you love this sport. Hugely inspirational. For me, at this point, he's a friend. So to me, it's, it's every day I just love swimming with him just because he's fun to swim with. It was clear to me that Abbas loves to compete, but what really inspired me was how he's been able to translate his innate desire for racing to give back to the community and inspire others who look up to him. You know, I, in my whole life, I was always trying to save my own life just only. Since I left my family, I'm, I put myself in a lot of uh, different paths and I took a lot of risks in my, in my life to come this far. Of course, I'm very, very thankful that I ended up this far. And at the end, I realized that I just not doing this, all these things just for me. I went three time world championship and one time Paralympic Games. And I feel like I almost conquered the world and I did everything I wanted. But then I realized that every time that I won a medal, a lot of people got encouraged. Uh, people around the world, people in Afghanistan, they give me the encouragement that like, I'm, a, uh, I'm a kind of hero. It gives me the feeling that I want to save people's life doing positive things like swimming, training, you know, going to the gym, running and competing and become a champion. Every medal that I win, it's not just for me, it's for a lot of people, it's for my family, for my legacy, for my father. Sport can change your life first. It can give you positive thoughts, and it's more than just training. It's, you know, encouraging other people to the sport. When every time I swim, I reborn. And you have to feel that in your soul, and you have to love it, and you have to enjoy it. It should be part of your body, it should be part of your soul, that it, uh, you cannot live without it, and then through that, you can encourage others to do the same thing. When people come in and they see him, they go, oh my gosh, I, if he can do this, I mean, what excuse do I have to, to complain about anything? So for them, it gives them a reason to be like, if he can do it, I can do it. His inspiration is, is amazing. He says swimming saves lives and it saved his life. And I look at my swimmers, it saves our lives, it's good. Abbas told me that he found his purpose to not only swim, but to inspire others. The impact he's having is hard to quantify, but the stories I heard both in and out of the water in Fort Lauderdale are just a fraction of what's possible. Let me know how you're inspired by Abbas's story down below in the comments and share this video with a friend. We can all grow from positivity and gain a little bit of courage in our own daily lives. My father never believed that I could be something, but I was always wanted to prove him that I can be something and I can be part of the society, I can be part of the world and make the world a better place, which I did and I'm gonna keep doing what I love. It's all began with sport and it's going to end up with sport.